Hello there, theater people. Bruce and I are starting a new format for some of our episodes. In between our full-length episodes, we thought it would be fun to do mini-cast episodes that are about the length of an intermission and address one question or topic. So let us introduce the Thespis Intermission Minicast. <laughs> Melanie, what is today's question? Live theater is on its way back. What aspect are you most looking forward to? Bruce, what are you most looking forward to? Oh, well, I know for me, I'm looking forward to the process of telling a story on stage. I just, I love the entire rehearsal process, um, developing the whole approach to, to the, the particular uh, piece, fleshing out the, the characters, sitting around the table, talking to the director about uh, how he envisions the production or a, a particular cast member's approach, um, and then getting right in. And, and I just, I do really just enjoy the whole process. So I miss that. I mean, some people can't wait for it to to get a production on its legs and get on stage and, and be performing. And, and I love that, too. Of course, that's the kind of the the end product. But I do love the whole process of getting to that point, because that's also where you, you develop your relationship with your castmates and, and also fellow characters as you, as you develop those relationships on stage and also friendships with new people, maybe that you haven't worked with before. And then ultimately telling this, you know, whatever the cool story is or musical that you happen to be working on. So. I just really, really love the whole rehearsal process about getting a production together. So that's what I miss. And that's what I'm most looking forward to. That's awesome. That sounds good. I get all that. Yeah. I mean, it's the actor approach, I guess, or the actor in me that really likes it. I guess other people will have, of course, a different approach. What about you, Melanie? What do you think? What's, you know, I mean, you're also an actor, but you also look at things from a lot of different perspectives, so producing perspective, directing perspective. You have a lot more irons in there than I kind of do. So I'm a little limited, but well, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> You've worked in theater management. You know what it is to be a producer. Yeah, no, I know. I know, Trine. But tell me, what, what do you miss or what are you looking forward to? Hmm. I am looking forward to having that amazing moment when you're watching a show mm -hmm. and you're just blown away when it's something completely unexpected and it opens your eyes in a new way mm -hmm. and you walk out of that theater a different person from when you walked in. Hmm, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I love that too, that the point where you can walk out of a show and you still want to talk about it and you want to talk mm -hmm. about what you've seen and you want to talk about the co the co characters you've just encountered. And and if it's somebody you know that was portraying a character, it's always kind of cool to say to see it and say, oh, gee, I loved how John developed this character and his approach to this. And, you know, so yeah, I get that too. Yeah, I look forward to that as well. Yeah. Well, see, now you're you're making me think about that poster discussion, which I love so much that too. So maybe I want to do that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what my top choice is because I really love that, that post show chat that you have with friends that you've gone to the theater with and who know okay. theater. So when you go out afterwards and grab a, yeah. a slice of pie and a coffee uh -huh. or whatever Absolutely. that is or, yep, yep, or yep. a drink, if it's late at night and you need a breakfast, it's usually pancakes breakfast. or something, you know, yeah. <laughs> You yeah. go to the Waffle House. I hop, yeah, or Waffle House. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. And when you really analyze the play, sometimes that gets a little critical, but it's all so fun. I mean, it's critical in an academic way. And mm -hmm. it, that's exciting for me. I love to see, okay, what's working, what's not working, what's right. the story mean. Ooh, what yeah. about that character? How did that work? Yeah, I love well, all that of those stuff. things. I think help. They just help you prepare for the next role that you might be involved in, or the mm. next production you might be involved in, because of what you've seen that that worked or didn't work or what have you before you. So it's kind of the all those little things that you've talked about post show are little, are little nuggets that you kind of store away for the next one. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know? and that's what I mean. That's what theater should do, right? It should mm -hmm. engage the mind. It should. Yep inspire conversation yeah. and yeah, challenge you and uh, you know and if you're you know if you're involved directly i think in theater it should challenge your your performance or your directing or your designing or your whatever you know mm -hmm. um, it, it just should push you to the next level hopefully mm -hmm. yeah. and i guess what i love best about being in the audience and having those moments that i just mentioned the in the theater moment and the post show discussion is also what i love about being part of a show, whether that's as an actor or a director, being in that rehearsal room and making those discoveries, those same kind of discoveries that you make 
<laughs> when you're watching it and you're having mm-hmm. those aha sure. moments and those wow moments. Yeah. Yeah. You have those in the rehearsal rooms. Oh, that's a good rehearsal. Yeah. I it's funny, that. you know, some people, I mean, and I get, you know, people want to be cognizant of the use of their time when they go to rehearsal and not sit around and, you know, all the kind of, there's always those kinds of discussions when you work with a director that maybe, you know, brings you in and you, you might have two minutes that you're actually working on your role or on your particular scene or that kind of thing. Um, and sometimes that's a little frustrating for some folks. But for me, even that, I, I never seem to mind because I, I want to be there and kind of take in what's happening, you know, with mm-hmm. all the characters, all the people that are in the show, uh, that are involved in the production. And it gives you a chance again to build those relationships with people that you wouldn't normally do if you're just kind of wandering in when it's your time and then leaving, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think that's probably my my real draw to theater in general because of that, um, where I, I don't have a lot of film experience, but it seems like when you think of a film, it's kind of you come in, do your part and go home. You know what I mean? I'm sure there's, there's a lot more to it, but um, that's just kind of some of my perception. And that's why I guess I really am drawn more to, to theater work because of those relationships and uh, interactions that you have from taking the time to really build a production. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, you do hear stories in the film world, especially animation. You mm-hmm. hear that a lot in it, that people just come in and they yeah. do their whole bit in a booth yeah. by themselves. Yeah. Which, you know, it's amazing to me. And I, I think because we look at them and go, oh, gee, that sounds like so much fun. But to me, when I think when when you hear that, that they've just been in a booth by themselves, like, how boring is that? I mean, yeah. yeah, you can you can discover and redo the the lines and different approaches and be directed by the director who says, oh, give me more of this or I'm envisioning this or what have you so that you are interpreting. But but you're not playing off of anybody, you know, and right. I, that's that's I would miss that. Yeah, you know, I, w- I would love to do some kind of animated work where you're kind of in the room with everybody everybody, you know, mm-hmm. working. Mm-hmm. And I think that that would be more ideal or more, at least more satisfying, you know? Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I think that's, that's kind of the crux of all we've been saying. It is that collaborative effort. And mm-hmm. it, it's in those collaborative efforts where you often have those eureka moments, those yeah. discovery moments. Yep. So it's all interconnected. I mean, even as an audience member, you're live in the room. So you're connecting. Mm-hmm. And that's, yeah. that's the beauty of live theater, right? When you're, when everybody's connecting, whether that's mm-hmm. the audience and, and the cast on stage, or whether that's what's happening in the rehearsal room, the members of the company and those yeah. connections. I mean, that's what it is. It's communication and connection. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's why I also enjoy, you know, seeing a production more than once. Um, I know people enjoy Mm. seeing movies more than once, but a a live production, let's face it, it's live. And so it's going to be a little bit different every time you see it, hopefully not, not grossly different because of course there's, you know, standards and, and approach that you have to maintain and integrity you have to maintain with the production, but there's just different things that, that occur naturally when you see a production. So over and when you see it over and over again, it's, it's always a little bit bit new or a little bit fresh. I know just even when I'm when I'm not in a production and I maybe when I'm working at the Peace Center and a tour has come through, we can hear the production. If we're not actually in the theater proper, we can hear it in the lobby and so on. And you can always tell when there's a new person that's joined that night, you know, somebody's filling a role, maybe the understudy or what have you. And it's always interesting to hear the differences or the different voice mm-hmm. quality or what have you. And there's just always a different approach. And so I always I, I enjoy that. So again, it's another aspect of of it being live theater, there's just a little bit more, um, I don't know if originality is the right word, but a little it's bit an energy. Yeah. A little bit new energy each mm-hmm. time that the production is, is, is happening. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. I love seeing different people play the same part, especially mm-hmm. if it's the exact same production, like, like, right. yeah. like an understudy situation yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. That's fascinating to me because yeah. the energy is completely different. Yeah. And quite often, you know, the understudy or the stand-in or whatever, they they don't get to do it as often, so mm-hmm. they're like really jazzed. You know, they're ready. They're mm-hmm. wanting to. They're wanting to get on there and show what they can do, and and you know, and work. And so uh, it's it's always really kind of interesting. And quite often, they're they're quite credible. Sometimes almost better than the the person who's headlining. You know, <laughs> I don't want to say that too much, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all professionals. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Absolutely. But yeah, there's there's definitely that element of of excitement and just, it's just a different energy. Of course, Mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're doing something different or doing something for the first time or something that you haven't done a lot or as opposed to somebody who's doing it a lot. 
Mm-hmm. Which doesn't yeah. necessarily mean that they don't have the energy. I'm not suggesting no. that no, no, they no, no. phone Absolutely it in, not. but no. Um, no. but yeah, it's just a different vibe, and it's it's yeah. awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. It really is. Well, with that note and that vibe, Melanie, I think we'll wrap up today's <laughs> mini cast. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, then our folks out there are people that listen, that that love Thespis in the Green Room or, and love theater. We'd love to hear from you, too. What aspect of live theater are you most looking forward to? We'd love to have you reach out to us on social media, comment on our Facebook page. And if there's a question you think you'd like us to discuss, we'd love to hear from you about that, too. This is something we want to be interactive about. So check us out. And then let us know what you think. And you can find us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Or if you want to comment directly on our podcast homepage, you can do that as well. There is a comment section available after each episode. So, yeah, reach out to us and let us know what you're looking forward to. Absolutely. All right, Melanie. Until next time, we'll see you then. All righty. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Thespis in the Green Room is a Courageous Crossings production.